You are listening to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss our RC adventures. Welcome to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss the ups and downs of the new RC Flyer. Join your hosts, Michael and Jay, as they take flight at the park. Now on with the show. Jay from the hills of Texas. And we are closing out the show today. Um, we had a lot of really good attendance. Yeah, we had 176 cars parked, which is about double. That's amazing. And, uh, lots of spectators. Uh, we had two food vendors. They were they were pumping out food left and right. And actually, the one that ran out of gas, the propane. So I had to give them a gas, a propane tank to oh. keep cooking. <laughs> so good for them. It is good for them. Yeah. So uh, 54 pilots. Yeah. Uh, great That's raffle, good. great noon show, great awards. Uh, yeah. the night fly. We had a great night fly. We did have a good night fly. I think we, uh, we did have one complaint. Oh, oh we did have a complaint. Yeah. <laughs> what was the complaint? Well, the guy arrived a little late, and we. He's like, "This is supposed to be going to nine o'clock." <laughs> It, it, it's it's only eight thirty. What do you? What, there's nobody here. What what's up with that? Was that the guy with the kid? Yeah, it was. He was a good guy. I mean, I gave him a, a sticker and some yeah. stuff. So uh, if you're listening to the podcast, we appreciate you coming yes, out. We, we know, thank but you. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I, I can't we just control how off, how long people stay to fly. Yeah, it's unfortunately, no you can't. You can't yeah, leave till nine. <laughs> I, I gotta <laughs> go home. I did. I did gates. mention that though. I did. Yeah, I so told him. The gates. My batteries. Uh, <laughs> no, it's actually believe it or not, he came out and uh, you know kind of was like, oh man, I really wish that you guys you know were going till nine. And I told him, I said, well, you know, we we've been flying pretty regular and and the batteries are pretty much done. And yeah. I said, you know, some people bolted out, and it was getting a little chilly. And But I was able to talk to the kids. They actually, you know, were interested, and we kind of pointed them in the right direction. So maybe he'll uh, he'll grab a real flight and, you know, kind of yeah. get the kids involved. Hey, so. good segue. One thing I noticed that this was the <coughs> most kids I've seen at this event. Yeah, it is. Yes, we had a lot more younger presence, and that's been one of my big pushes to get kids out here. And, right. you know, I gave one of our, our kid pilots an award because, you know, he, he's putting his heart into it, and he just he was happy as a clam. His dad was happy, and you know, and he he earned it. You know? Yeah, he did earn he really, it. Yes, and uh, actually, I don't know if they probably a couple of kids out. Yeah, there's a couple guys. Yep, out now. there's a couple yeah, of kids we, behind yeah. us out there flying, I think, and uh, on the flight line. So they uh, mm-hmm. they're having fun. They've been flying a lot of different mm-hmm. uh, equipment. Yep. And um, yeah, it's been it's been kind of fun watching them. Yeah, they wanted to drop some bombs this morning with little firecrackers, and so I go, "Well, you can drop the bombs, but no firecrackers." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think they were. D- I think yeah. they did it earlier this yeah, morning. Yeah, <laughs> pop, pop. yeah. And, and I uh, think somebody's like, a, "Hey, you should go ask uh, permission." One of the guys flying FPV, uh, you know, with the goggles. Yep, goggles, that's he's right. Flying around. Well, he was flying really, really low out over like where the tracks are, like yeah. the, the horse horseback trails. And yeah. We're like, ah, oh, you need to bring it up a notch because you could scare a horse or yeah. knock the guy off of a, yeah. you know, a, mountain, a bike. mountain bike. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? I don't want to. <laughs> we don't have more complaints. I don't yeah. want to fill out the paperwork on that one. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. No. <laughs> Well, it's uh, you know it's always a pleasure to kind of come out and uh, and see the event. And uh, each event's a little different. And I think this one uh, was very successful. We had uh, a lot of good things uh, happening, and um, we saw a lot of people. And I I think Jay and I probably were talking about it yesterday. But you know the spectator, I think the spectators this year were way bigger than yes. they have been. Yes, the news, and the news and I liked. I like the way that Horizon had set up their little booth because they put all their tables along. Normally we have the tables kind of going left and right, but they put their tables against the fence line where all the spectators could talk to them. And yep. so then they, they got a lot of people standing along the fence, and uh, and we did as well. And, and you know, like we talked about yesterday, I think, uh, you know, the, the park flyer, you know, jerseys were or the, you know, what do you call these? Hoodies. The hoodies. Yeah, hoodies. The hoodies. Yeah. The hoodies were uh, kind of a hit, and I had several people asking, "Hey, where do we get those?" You know, they were they were pretty excited. But uh, yeah, it's it, you know this the spectator. I think the news did an incredible job. Somebody said they ran it on Saturday morning too. Yes, right? they yeah, did. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I, I, I got so I think there were people that, that uh, kind of saw that, and um, yeah, it's been it's been great. So, any highlights that? Uh, uh, we didn't of course, talk my about biggest highlight, I think we talked about already, was I think the the sailplane, the Cessna. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and a good night flight. You know, I, I, I we had, uh, I actually had two planes that were kind of. Oh busy. yes, your 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 yeah, second plane right. was second pretty plane. spectacular. Yeah. So uh, my first plane was the, the night radium, but I couldn't find the original spar. So I made one before I came out to the. You whittled restaurant. one out of wood. Yeah, well, you made it literally. out of paper mache. Yeah. <laughs> That's I what I asked him. <laughs> he rolled up some newspaper, uh, stuck it in there. there but, you go. No, but I flew it, and it didn't. No, the wing didn't. It didn't fold. fold. No. Yeah, no but but you weren't doing any up. like uh, yeah. you know major aerobatics or anything. No. When I, I he was trying to recreate what he saw uh, Ali doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't quite do that. He's he's That's one of funny. a kind. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, then I had the I had the Flex Innovations uh, Cessna 170, and for some reason I thought I had to make this like crazy adapter, and one of the guys from Fox uh, was like, "No, you just plug it in and it works." Worked. And then when I turned on the radio, it turned off. Yep. And then and the guy's like, "Well, if you just unplug that channel, because I didn't program the channel to turn the lights on or off, he says it'll still work." And it worked. And we flew it and success. And then it cool. turned off kind of when when you bounced Had it. Had a little flicker. And yeah. then it flicked. And, and Mike's Mike's going, "Oh, I I, I would land." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Go for it." Yeah, yeah. So it'll flicker. But, uh, but yeah. if you want to feel alive, just go up there. Let yeah. that light just yeah. go out. Speaking yeah. of Mike, I think. Uh, if you're looking, uh, watching the video, you can probably see him in the background. Mike won the uh, 40 millimeter EDF from Horizon Hobby. Yep. It's a F14 Tomcat twin yep. 40 millimeter EDF. Yep. And uh, he was super excited about it. He's like, man, I want a plane, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think we got a picture of him and uh, you guys all with your planes. Anyway, he put his together, and then he's like, you know, I don't really have a place to fly this here, you know. And I was like, well, you could leave it with me, and when you come into town, you can go fly it. And he's like, well, yeah, I don't know. He didn't ever really know what to do, so he, you know, he, he's like, well, you think we can fly it here? And I was like, yeah, sure, give it a shot. So I took him out and walked him through. I did the initial flight, yeah. and then I told him, okay, here you go, you know, and he's like, well, walk me through it. So I did, and, man, that guy's been flying that ever since. Yeah, I mean, he's, he, he's a couple, like, couple flights in it. yeah, he borrowed uh, Bob Ruff's batteries, and, yeah. man, he's just been... <laughs> through yep. i don't uh, you know i mean this morning he was out the first guy and he was out flying that thing so i'm excited that he's excited yeah and he's done a really good job and and this airplane has safe mode in it yeah and so i think it gave him a little confidence and you know at first when he flew it he's kind of like what does this mean and so i walked him through but he was able to land this thing and and now that he's more comfortable with it he's starting to kick it out into the different yeah. modes and and uh but it's ex- super exciting to see him out there so I know we didn't get him in front of the camera this year, but he's he's Mike, been good. Mike uh, Pete Mitchell Maverick. Yeah, Matt, that's right. <laughs> they called him Maverick. Uh, Pete Mitchell Maverick. Pete Mitchell. That's funny. So, but uh, yeah, other than that, everything uh, everything I think went well. My my highlights this week were uh, watching the kids fly, yeah, and um, you know watching uh, the demonstration. I I will tell you that uh, going back to the night fly, we kind of touched on the night fly because we we're just getting to it. But um, about halfway through the night fly, the Flex Innovations guys came out with their twin yes. otter. Yes. Oh my goodness. And uh, and Bryce asked me, he's like, "Have you flown this thing?" And I was like, "No." And he's like, "Well, here, I'll get you to fly it." And I was like, "Dude, I'm, you know, I, I don't know. I I'm having a harder time seeing everything starting to turn purple as I get older. You know, I can <laughs> see this night fly." <laughs> And uh, he's like, no, no, this thing will work. And so they brought it out. When they plugged it in, the entire airplane it's lit, lit up. up. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like, it, it's not just lights like you would see normal, uh, yeah. you know, LED strips. Yeah, it's this is like it, like the whole plane. The fuselage is lit. The wings are lit. I mean, you can, you can definitely it's see. the Illuminati. Oh, yeah, it is the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And then the things they were able to do with that thing was oh, just yeah. phenomenal. Flat and, and everything. Yeah, and it, he, Bryce crazy. let me fly it earlier because yeah. after I had yeah. my little mishap, and then he's like, "Hey, man, you got to put a smile back on that face. Right, I'll yeah. let you fly this thing." Right. And I will tell you, they definitely have the gyros dialed in because mm-hmm. he's like, "Okay, just jam those sticks in the corner," and I'm like, "Okay, that's like counterintuitive to yeah. what most yeah. of my flying. Jam that stick in the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's just." Things you don't normally do with yeah. a plane, like a big old right. plane like that. Right. So I, he goes, jam that thing in there. I'm like, okay, jam the sticks in the corner, and the thing just starts spinning. Wah, 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 wah. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. He goes, okay, just release the sticks. Yep, they just, just came out of it and just started flying. I'm yep. like, oh, <laughs> oh. I, and so my face started to hurt because I was smiling so much. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and, he, and he's just like, okay, now fly like this, do like this. Now jam that thing in the corner. Now flip it over. Now just just do something crazy. And, he, and, and he's like, okay, this is the way you get you get it into a flat spin, and this is the way you get it to spin, you know, going the other way, just with your rudder. Put your rudder and put a little bit of aileron in there. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay, tighter. More, more, more. Okay, okay. 
half throttle, half throttle. Okay, there you go. <laughs> See, it's staying right there. And I'm like, wow. Okay, now bring it out. Just go into a hover. He goes, are you, now don't touch the sticks. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that is so cool. Yeah, so no matter cool. what you did with this thing, it would get into just these crazy gyrations, doing the flat spins, doing whatever the, whatever you want to call the maneuvers. And you just had to let go of the sticks. You kept about half throttle, and it just, it would just come right out of it and just start flying level. And I'm just right, like, that crazy. is awesome. Yeah. Well, I know you did have sold a. Sold one. You're in my one, huh? Yeah. I want to, but I have to talk to Mama first yeah, exactly. yeah, because yeah, that yeah. it that it that's going to be a little bit. Well, it's tax time, so I might be able to. Hey, you know that thing yeah. that you wanted. I mean, how many sofas do we really need? Yeah. You know. <laughs> we can sell this one and buy this one. Yeah. Or buy an airplane. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I, I was really amazed. They did a really good night demo. It was yeah. it was truly amazing. And um, I started laughing because the timer went off, and he probably flipped for another three minutes. Yeah. It, it's it, even though it takes two batteries, it, it really fly. I mean, you can fly it on less than half throttle. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. For all the stuff that I, I never went above half, because he's like, okay, this is the gyro setting. If you're going, if you're going to go screaming balls balls out to the wall, you know, whatever. Right, and right, I go, right. oh, I, I don't need to do that. He goes, okay, we'll just keep it here and, uh, you know, keep it below half throttle. If you go over, the gyro's too sensitive for that speed, you know, when you yeah. go over that. And I'm like, okay. And so half the time he's like, you're going too slow. And I'm like, okay, I'm at half throttle. And he's like, no, you're not. And I, I'd have to look down at the stick. And, I mean, the plane was flying on, you know, half yeah. of the half throttle. Yeah, the quarter. Yeah, on yeah. a quarter throttle, no problem. Huh. No problem. Well, it's got a, a big Hershey bar wing, so there's a lot of weight. Oh, it's got tons. And the, and the plane's light. Did you yeah, ever pick, did you ever pick it up? I never picked it up. No, uh -uh. Yeah. So the first time I went, you know, you kind of braced to pick it up, and it was like, whoa. <laughs> wow. I was like, all right, I like this. So the the one thing I did notice, and I talked to him about it, is that their counter-rotating props, most counter-rotating props go inside. Yeah. His go outside. go outside, which is why he's able to do a lot of those crazy yep. gyration things. But I will tell you that if one quit, you're toast. Yeah. You're done. Yeah. Because that's the P-38, the real P-38 had that same thing, yeah. external counter rotating. Yeah. So both engines were critical. And if you lose an engine, the airplane's not going to be able to fly right. on a single yeah. engine. So, so that's kind of one of those things that you, know, you kind of got to be aware of. But <clears throat> what was amazing to me, too, is uh, when they pitched the aircraft up into the hover, then uh, the engines, the way they had the gyro set up, the engines were flexing to keep the yeah, nose yeah yeah so yeah it, it yeah. wasn't like you were using rudder he's like yeah i just let go of the rudder and it just goes you know it, you'd hear this motor yeah, zzz, zzz, yeah. and so it, you could see it yeah kind of correcting yep. it so yep so i uh, he's done a really good job with that and uh you know they've they've programmed it really well but uh, it is amazing and uh is it currently on the market or it is, is it uh, pre-order pre-order yeah. only yep. okay so you have to pre-order one yeah, if you order right now it's 20 bucks off retail yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So. .com would uh that. Yeah, flexinnovations.com. It is a uh, very or, or go to Critical RC or Critical RC. Yeah, 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 yeah. that'll be better. I think the twenty twenty dollars off is through Critical okay, RC. Yeah, so. that makes sense. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, if you go through Flex and they're like, what? You know, that's a show special for Critical. So yeah, um, but yeah, they did a great job. Uh, you know, his crew was was pretty amazing. So, yep. um, what was your highlights? Well, Nothing like I that. pretty much, you know, like I said, uh, flying that particular air, aircraft, uh, flying the Otter, uh, once again, um, seeing the uh, sailplanes. Um, we didn't really have any spectacular crashes. Mm. Usually we have one notable yeah. crashes, but really, other than mine. I was going to say, we had one notable <laughs> one. But other than mine, and that was kind of after everything during the show. I didn't dur do that during the show or during, during we had everything. We one in the fence, didn't we? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, we did have one yeah. kind of hit the fence, yeah. but, but you it know, wasn't what, like super spectacular. It, it yeah. didn't get turned into balsa oh, dust. Right. No, the one over here. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, he dead sticked it in, so yeah. that was the only option. Okay. Yeah. But that was uh, a, that was a big uh, 737 from uh, Motion RC. Was it the Iron yeah. Maiden one. It was the Iron Maiden oh, one. Man. Yep. And uh, he took off and he went around, and I think he was coming into land. So I don't know if he had flown a little bit too long. Or there was enough guys where he couldn't come in for the oh, landing. Okay. When he turned base leg out there, he goes dead stick, and it was headed to the crowd. Yeah. So he tried not to, you know, he, he actually yeah. flew over the deadline and turned it back right. to the runway, but it he couldn't clear the fence and it yeah. hit right at the top of the fence. So yeah. spectators got a wonderful view of that, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> oh, I, I, but, that's good, but. but there was, yeah, it it cheese graded that thing just went right into the fence, uh, and of course chain link and. 
yeah. and foam never is a good combination. Huh, well, yeah. Um, and then They'll yeah, you're out. you had a kind of a mishap. Your um, your Viper kind of went. Yeah, crazy. well, you know, uh, I lucked out this year, and I actually won a Viper. Yeah. I actually won a plane after you know ten years of coming, and finally won one, and I was. Super stoked. Mm -hmm. uh, slapped it together. Easily to put together. And yeah, it was a bind and fly. And so it was a bind and fly, and we got it out there and uh, excited, and it had plenty of power. Popped it off the runway, sucked up the gear, went into my first right-hand turn, and it went in, and it didn't come out. And it just rolled over. It just rolled ground. over and wacko into the ground. And I was like, okay, I, you know, yeah. not much I could do. And it wasn't like it uh, kind of came out and hit and broke off a piece or two. It was a full on. Yeah. It, right to that it nice punched, soft desert yeah, out there. It punched the desert pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, but the good news is, is that uh, wings survived, tail survived, everything. You know, it was fun. Well, I got to buy a new fuselage. I have yeah. to get a new canopy. Yeah. The only bad part is it's a newer plane, so yeah. those things are quite premium. Like, I can't even get a canopy now. They're all just, you know, they're uh, all uh, back ordered. Back -ordered. Yeah. Yeah. But I can get a, I can get a fuselage. And I could probably repair the canopy that I have. But uh, Does the canopy come with the fuselage? No. No, it's separate. Nothing. So, basically, I have to strip everything off, the, off my model because even the lights, the, you know, just the little doohickey things yeah. that are on it, yeah. I have to strip off the one that I have oh, okay. and put it onto the fuselage. Gotcha. I mean, yeah. nothing comes yeah. with gotcha. When they, you know, when they say fuselage, that's all they mean. Bare fuselage. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Down to the stickers. The wow. stickers don't come with it either. No, that's oh, a sep that's twenty dollars separate. You wow. Can you can do your own paint job. Yeah. That's true. You could do your own paint job. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Park the Flyer, Park Flyer podcast. Oh, there you go. I was yeah. gonna say I'm gonna go with the Mike Barcelou. Uh, yeah, yeah, the white only. <laughs> <laughs> white on white, it works perfect. Hey, I'm gonna fly in the snow. What's a good color scheme? White <laughs> on white. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> How do you tell? What's up? Well, the wheels are hanging down. You can tell. Or skis. <laughs> the skis are orange. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, crazy. That's, yep. Those are fun times. Well, we uh, we, we have great weather today here, too. We which do. Is a funny, and, and there's uh, a lot of spectators have come. Yeah, uh, actually. We got people guys flying, flying too, Yeah, so a lot of people flying. They kind of came late, though. Like, I was, yeah. here, I was here at 7, which is yep. late for me. Yeah. And, you know, you guys. Yeah, we were here. Uh, that was it. And then I got things were going, and a few other people started rolling in. But, yeah, we got Ma's Kitchen out here today. Yeah, they're we all kind of rolling going, in. And uh, I think we're having a good time. So I'm very happy. Uh, been running this now since, I think, 2015 was my first year running this. And uh, definitely in the top three, yeah. I'd say. I mean, if yeah. we, I, they've all been good, but I think um, – uh, there was one a couple years ago. It was just, you know, primo, and this is pretty close, if not, if not there. Well, I'll say from a weather standpoint, although it was a little cool, it wasn't cold, cold. I mean, I've been yeah. we've been here where it's been colder. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, even though we had actual rain, which you know, Arizona and rain, yeah. uh, but it, it rained pretty good. Um, but normally, what gets us is like two about two o'clock in the morning. All of a sudden, the wind picks up. Yeah. To hurricane gales and planes yeah, are flying because yeah. people leave all their planes they out here. And they, were, and they were running out here chasing all the planes and strapping everybody's stuff down. And we didn't have any of that this year. Everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, we got we got lucky. So I mean, uh, yeah, I think the weather you know cooperated you know con considering what we were expecting. Uh, but because there was forecast of a lot worse weather, <laughs> there was a lot of people, especially from out of town, that said, "Hey, I'm gonna pass coming yeah, this year," right, or they right. would show up just as a spectator on. Uh, on Saturday or whatever, and hang out. But uh, you know, I'm I'm very happy. I, I yeah. if, if I haven't yeah. expressed that enough, it's been a great great weekend and right. great to spend it with you guys. You know, we don't get to see each other in yeah. person very often, yeah, and I get to see Mike once in a while. But Jay, I mean, I see you once a year. Right. Hopefully, we were talking about this. We might change that up a little bit if we can. Yeah, sure. we might. Yeah, we've got a couple so. ideas for uh, the upcoming season, and yeah. Um, you know, with Shanna joining us, it uh, kind of gives us a whole new kind of persona of what we need to do. And, hey, he's got some great ideas. So. Well, I know we got one show coming up with uh, his plane. Oh, oh that's yeah. true. We do, yeah. yeah. We're yeah I'm sure coming up with uh, the T-28 Trojan. Yep, I'm going to get that thing together. That's true. And we got uh, that going for us. We'll talk about that probably on, uh, on the next uh, episode. Go. That's very cool. Okay. See, you know, yeah. I took the hit for you. You did. You did. Because he, uh. he said, we were, I asked him if he wanted to trade planes. He's like, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Well, you know, um, when you. And if we would have traded, went, I, I might have actually felt bad about, you know, the plane going. Uh, you. I, I went out I there and the plane went in, man. Oh, uh, too bad. I don't yeah. know. If the, I, you know, there's too many what ifs there. Yeah. Think about that, you know. Uh, I just 
winning that plane, you know, I, uh, it, it was a little weird because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the CD of the event, but I'm a paid pilot just like everybody else. I draw yeah. a ship just like everybody else. That's and, true. Uh, you know, we don't, you know. I'm not gonna put it back. I I earned it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> he <laughs> was kind of feeling guilty yesterday. Uh, I was like, dude, don't worry about I, it. No, I'm gonna worried. fly. I'm gonna enjoy it, and I'm gonna thank Horizon Hobby for being yeah. such a great sponsor yeah. and providing that. And I'm gonna definitely uh, use it to promote. The hobby. Well, speaking of that, we do need to thank Horizon Hobby because they did step up huge this year. Yeah. I mean, they gave a lot of airplanes. FMS gave a lot of airplanes. FMS. So, uh, you know, Castle, Emax, yep. uh, Function Graphics made our, made my shirts for right. Man, which were, um, were, were a big hit for me. I love those. Uh, Critical RC out here. Yep, Zap House of Balls have been here forever. Yep. They, they're great guys. Eflux RC. Uh, who else? RTL Fasteners uh, chipped in again this year. RCBattery.com, another big, big supporter big of supporter. us. And yep. I really thank them for that. Yep. And uh, there's a few other ones. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm to remember them all by heart now, but I think, yeah, I, think right. I got most of the big ones. So, but uh, everyone's been real happy with the with the raffle prizes, yeah. and uh, yeah. I think I think uh, Horizon gave a raffle too, right? The, the Beach 18 was yeah, that they they gave us a well, they gave us a D18 for the jet event. And oh, okay. It just didn't quite fit with the jet event. <laughs> gotcha. So we held on to it and said, let's just do it, our, and we and we didn't have a bigger crowd there. Right. So we're like, let's do it. We have a bigger crowd, and uh, yeah, we we did really well with that with that raffle. A uh, guy came and collect, collected last night. Yeah. They won it, so yeah. he was excited. And he's a, uh, I, I know the guy. And he flies with. He doesn't fly here regularly, but he's he's been around the hobby for a long time and uh, a good guy. So it's one of those good home. Good, good, good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, we would, once again like to thank the Horizon Hobbies. They did a great job. We loved being next to them. It was very oh yeah uh, entertaining for us. And you know they would. Their guys are so great. And they James, are great. Uh, James was good. He's one of my. He's my co CD. Helped yep. me out a yep. huge amount. I had I, um, I lost my regular. OCD Pat Gagnon mm -hmm. last year, well, and I didn't really. I had, I kind of sort of had one last year, then I kind of didn't. Right. Uh, but James just stepped up, and uh, uh, as a result of being the co-CD for this, he now is going to be going to be the CD, and I, uh, I forget how it's working, but uh, for the Jet Rally. Oh, okay. Coming good. up in November, good, so good, good. he's uh, he's kind of stepping up in the world. To, to well, very good. Yeah, he uh, he deserves it. And, and uh, Tony and John and. Allie, of course, just uh, yeah. great guys, and they really represent the hobby and, and so make it easy for speaking us. Speaking of that, last uh, yesterday, I didn't mention this, but uh, towards the end of the day, uh, um, right before the night fly, Horizon was kind of gearing up to get out of here, and, yeah. and uh, John and I were talking, and John and I you know, kind of go way back, and he asked me if I had ever flown a crescent the Crescendo, and I <laughs> said, nah, I've never flown. He goes, come on. So he... Gave me his radio, put the new battery in, and then Tony's like, wait, uh, you know, let me go fly too. And so me and Tony went out, <laughs> and we flew those little UMX. Oh, I didn't know that. So what did what, you think? Dude, I had, I was literally giggling. You remember when we flew the wings out in, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in yeah. New Mexico, and yeah. we were just giggling like schoolgirls? Mm -hmm. Tony and John and I were having so much fun. That airplane is amazing. I mean, it is amazing. It, you would never suspect that it flies the way it flies. Yeah. Well, they their demo they did yesterday. You know, so, yeah, the demo, you know, you kind of see it and you think to yourself, okay, well, that's, you know, those are yeah. professional pilots. You, you know, when I get my own, own I mean, yeah. there's no way I can do any of that stuff. Well, we went out and John says, okay, this is the mode. It's, look at your switches. And I'm going to tell you, this switch is the launch switch. So when you're ready to get out of the launch and fly it, you have to hit this switch. He goes, but I'm going to tell you, when I throw it, you just go full power, and when you're ready to take it, you turn the switch off. And I was like, okay, so don't touch anything. He said, literally, put the transmitter by your side and hold the transmitter down. He goes, don't even look at it. Just hold it by your side. And uh, he goes, and then when you go full throttle, let me know. And so he's holding it like this, and I, all I did was put the transmitter down, and it's the throttle's touching my knee. So I just, I went full throttle with my knee, right? Yep. And he just tossed it. And as soon as it hit, as soon as it left his hand, it went to 15 degrees nose up, wings level, and just started tracking out. Wow. And I, and he goes, there you go. And I was like, no way. He's like, yeah, it's launch <laughs> mode. So I picked the radio up and I flipped it off. And then it, you could tell the nose drops over and then I have full control of it. Yeah. And I did so much stuff. He's like, dude, this is just so much fun. So we did... 
Tony and I started doing, we rolled inverted, and we started doing inverted outside loops oh, wow. at full throttle. And it, both of us were making these little circles, just like, meh, 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 you know. And I was laughing, and Tony was laughing because he's like, oh, which one's mine again? You know, because we're so <laughs> close to each other. It's like a furball. Uh, and I'm like, I don't know. And I look up, and I did something, and all of a sudden the airplane that I thought was mine <laughs> didn't do what I wanted yeah. to. But this one was kind of like, whoa. And I was like, oh, oh, i got to be over here. So John's like, yeah, don't crash my plane. And, and uh, so then he goes, pull the power to idle and let it just glide around. So I pulled the power, and that thing slowed way down like the walrus did today. And it just hung there and hung there, and it was just sinking, you know, just kind of. He yeah. goes, they are great slope soars. Yep. You just put them out there, and they just ride the wind. And uh, he goes, now, <clears throat> I came down to about knee height above the ground. He goes, you want to see something fun? Punch it. He goes, just full throttle right now. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. So I hit full throttle, and it was like a cat launch, man. This thing just, boom. I mean, it just <laughs> zipped out like somebody had pulled it back on a slingshot yep. and let go of it. Oh, wow. And, you know, I, I cruised up to altitude, and then I started whipping it around again. And it, it turns really hard. It's really fast. It yeah. does all these amazing things. And anyway, and it flew for probably five minutes yep. yeah, on that, that one battery. Yeah. So, uh, and it's, then, a, it's a three-cell 300, I think. It might be, yeah, yeah three-cell 300. But, uh, but it, it was crazy fast, and, and yet – crazy slow at the same time yeah. but I, I had so much fun and those guys you know they uh they've always let me kind of you know yeah. fly some of their airplanes but it it was amazing and uh they were really impressed with the Cessna Tony mentioned he's like man that Cessna flew really good you did a good job he said the landing was just a butter and, yeah. and uh, he goes it looks really stable and he said who owns that airplane now <laughs> I said I do he goes oh so it's coming to Sun Valley I can fly it later <laughs> I said, yeah probably <laughs> Uh, so he uh, he was laughing, but it was a good time with those guys. I really liked the crescendo. Mm -hmm. It was very mu it was very fun, and it's a small enough airplane because it's UMX that you right. can just throw it in oh, the bag yeah. and you, go. He's in the box and put yeah, in put it in the trunk. And, and I know uh, watching while we're doing this podcast, I was watching you know, AK Mike walking back and forth. He's got the pits now, the UMX pits yep. that I have. And he's been out there flying yeah. it too. Yeah, a lot of guys in the field flying. Yeah, yeah it's it's good. Uh, it's good. We got a lot of kids here that are kind of coming out. So Actually, quite a few. Once again, spectators. Yeah, yeah. spectators yeah. everywhere. They're all kind of lined up on the fence watching mm -hmm. our podcast yeah. as well. So that's very cool. Well, I uh, I can't believe that uh, this year went by so fast. I mean, I this event went by so fast this year, and it just it is amazing to me how quick these four days go by. Yeah. It just boom. It's so. I, I spend so much time getting ready for it. You guys uh, do right. too, yep. and yep. Uh, I, you know, but it's all worth it. Yeah, it is. I, it is I, definitely worth it. I went home. I was exhausted last night. Uh, poured myself a little drink. I'm not a big drinker. But <laughs> I had a little drink last night just to just to take the edge off. This is a kids show. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, I'm, we're adults, but you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, age, no, you know, no so. it just, you probably deserved it. Yeah. Uh, so it's not. It, it it's you know I can count on my hands. I've had a drink yeah, here, and that's yeah, one of them. So. Yeah. It's, uh, but yeah, it was just, I was like, ah, I had a great day. Well, and if I it's any it. consolation, I didn't even get that far. I walked in and just was like, yeah, dude, he was right out. To bed, he was man. out I was last just, night. I, I told the guys, I met like five minutes. We did some podcasts, you know, work online. And then I just told him, I was like, dude, I can't keep my eyes open. I don't know why I'm so tired. Oh, it was a busy day. The pizza, was, pizza, pizza. It's the pizza. The end, must be the pizza. Yeah, oh, sure. Pizza. All those carbs made me tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, no, it was a great time, and and we had a good time, and I, I was happy to see, you know, how excited Mike and Jay both were here, and and it's been a good, uh, a really really fun uh, event. Yes. So, looking forward to next year. Yeah. So we're we're crossing the threshold. We're into into year twenty one, yeah, and that's uh, we'll see what we can do to uh, to to spruce it up. Uh, I think uh, you know, as a whole, it runs it runs itself. Almost to a degree. I mean, I've got everything. I've got all the right people in place, and uh, the, my processes and things. I think I'm, you know, pretty good to go. Uh, most important thing is getting the pilots out. Yep. And because this is a pilots event, and and uh, it's something yeah. that I've always you know, well, pressed well, it. You know. I think I think this new, having the newscasters come out. Yeah. Was big. Definitely. And, it, and now Huge. and now since you know that went over and people liked it and yeah. it was a good it was a good segue. It'll be easier to get yeah. those guys to come out. And you, I mean, you got a lot of traffic oh from yeah. it. A oh lot yeah. of traffic. And we do, you know, I put out a press release every event we have, and yeah. I actually do do it twice. I do it kind of a couple weeks before, and I do it the week after to remind them. And, and you know, luckily, they say, hey, I got one, you know. <laughs> so, right, reel them right, in. Right. And, uh, 
Well, I think that they had a good time, so maybe it's something they'll remember for yeah, next year. Yeah, and yeah. They, and we I've, every time they come out here, they're oh yeah, it's great. And I think Fox Ten's been out here the most yeah. over the years. Yeah. Uh, we've had most of the, the cha channels at one point or another. Um, I think one's ignored us, but you know, even though I had a friend in the newsroom, that was like, eh. Yeah. Unless somebody's you know getting run over or you know house per house burning down, we don't want to cover it. Right. Man. Well, we don't. We don't want any <laughs> getting run over or burning here. Yeah, we None don't of want that. that here. None, None of that. that. No. It's not Burning Man. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's amazing. Well, we're going to head back out to the line. Thank you very much for joining us for the Park Fire Podcast here and uh, the, at the Arizona Electric Festival, 20th anniversary, uh, held here in 2024. We sure appreciate your patronage. Uh, send us an email at parkfirepodcast.com. Or uh, jump onto our YouTube channel and uh, subscribe. We uh, are trying to this new format, so please let us know if it worked, if it didn't, what you think, what your thoughts are, and uh, what we could do better. We always appreciate you from our listeners. So, I think we got a few new listeners this year, but yes. this is good for us. And, uh, we got some good, so we get more. And, uh, we will see you uh, in two weeks. So, Arizona, uh, Mark. From the hills of Texas, I'm Jim. You have been listening to the Park Flyer Podcast. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to your next visit. Please give our show a star rating and review, and feel free to email us your questions, topics, or suggestions to parkflyerpodcast at gmail.com.